Cheers winners, welcome or welcome back to this channel. I am Winnie, if this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that I upload. And if you're an oldie and you've come back to watch this face of mine, love you long time. I hope that y'all are doing very well. On a separate note, before I get into today's video, today's the 28th of March, right? Just before the Easter bank holidays. And I booked a half day off work and all I did was I slept, right? And that sleep was needed because I was tired. Now, the reason why I mention that is because I'm the type of person where most of the time when I book time off work, it's because I'm going away or I've got something to do. I am really that person that books a day off work or a few days off work just to relax and chill. And today has been a reminder that I actually need to start doing that because it's actually unhealthy um, to just not book time off work unless you are going away. I do feel refreshed and it's just, I just thought I'd mention it to inspire you because if you're just like me where you only book annually just to go away, sometimes it's okay to like book a day or so to just relax and chill depending on where in the world that you are because I know that annual leave is kind of different depending on where in the world that you are. Anyway, today's video is all about what is semi-free form locks and five ways that I'm maintaining mine. I've got my notes here on my phone. So if this is the first time you're watching a video of mine, I've had my locks since 2011. I started it via uh, normal plaits or braids, I think some people call it. And then I was interlocking for about five and a half years. Then I stopped interlocking and I started retwisting. At some point I did semi free form for a year or so, but I didn't do it correctly. That was the thing. And then I went back to retwisting and long so cut short, retwisting and styling. And what I found was it just wasn't beneficial to my hair when I look back. A lot of the issues I've had with my locks, especially when it comes to things like thinning out and stuff, was because of getting it retwisted um, probably tightly, uh, styling and things like that. So long story cut short, January this year, I decided I can't be asked for the retwisting and I'm going to semi free form. However, I have noticed that there is a bit of misconceptions when it comes to semi free form, which I'm going to very briefly talk about. Um, because I've noticed even recently when I've been looking at videos in regards to semi-free form and forming and stuff before I decided that I was going to commence the semi-free form journey. There was one video in particular by someone who is known to be a professional loctician and in one of their videos they said something along the lines of if you've been somebody that's retwisted for the majority of your lock journey and then you decide that you no longer want to retwist, you're neglecting your hair um, and that's a form of laziness and it's basically going to fall off. And I remember watching that video thinking, okay, I know this person is a professional and is well known in a lock community at that, but I personally just found that train of thought very ridiculous. So anyway, for those of you that don't know what semi-free form is, uh, despite the misconceptions is still a form of a lock technique okay it's not you just leaving your hair to do its thing you leaving your hair to do its thing is called free forming where you allow your hair to just mat together how it wishes and you embrace it you embrace it like so with semi free forming um you still do things like you pop your locks we call it pop your locks but basically you separate your lock. So for example, maybe if you're washing your hair, you might just check to see if the roots have uh, meshed together and you will gently separate it. Depending on how your hair grows, if your hair grows like mine, we're at the front, um, the hair grows outside of the lock, you may braid the new growth into the lock um, in a particular way. I do have videos on that. I did recently do a hair wash day routine where I showed you how I do that um amongst many other things so semi free form isn't just you leaving your hair alone and thinking oh your your locks are going to be thick right there's still a little bit of maintenance that you have to do now in regards to the five ways that i plan on maintaining mine 
First point I've written is that I'm going to commit to minimum style and tension, right? So I've already done a video, I believe sometime last year, where I said that I was no longer gonna be styling my locks, and I've stuck by that. I'm not looking to do any styles whatsoever. But also when it comes to like tension, people forget that things like wearing your hair up, having it in a high bun, and things like that can cause a lot of tension on your hair. Now, when you're semi-free forming like myself, I still do things like I tie my hair up, I'll wear my hair up in a high bun. But the way that I tie it up is very loosely so that it doesn't hurt my scalp. My hair's not suffering in the process as well because at the end of the day, when you're semi-free forming, you're going to have a lot of loose hair in your roots. You probably can't see it right now, but I do have a lot. A little bit of growth before my lock starts so like for example I've got this lock that's got two heads my lock literally starts here so I've got all of this growth right there now imagine if I was wearing it in tight ponytails and stuff like that I could potentially flatten my locks and also thin the roots because of all the tension that I'll be putting it through so that's something that I'm not even interested in my second point is I wash my hair regularly. Now, if you've been watching my look videos for a while, you know that I was going through it at one point where I was debating if my routine was working because I was listening to what other people were saying on this platform and other blogs and stuff about, oh, go longer without washing your hair. It's more beneficial if you do it that way. Washing your hair too much damages your locks, yada, yada. It's a myth. It's an absolute myth, okay? At present, I wash my locks about, I'll say once every two weeks, once every 1.5 weeks, around that period. And at the end of the day, washing your locks regularly means that you have a clean scalp, clean hair, which equals to healthy growth, okay? Excessive products build up and sweat can actually result to your hair thinning. Point number three, so this kind of goes back to what I said earlier on in this video about a little bit of maintenance. So I separate my roots, yeah, um, which you would have seen in a recent video of mine. I tend to do it when I'm washing my hair, whilst my hair is wet, I will generally just go through to see like where my roots have meshed together and I will just gently separate them. I also braid the front of my hair. So at the front of my hair, it grows outside of the lock. So when I braid it into my lock, I don't braid it like directly at the root. I braid it into where the root forms, if that makes sense. So when I'm braiding the front of my hair, as y'all can see, like, let's just say my lock starts here. So I'll make sure that the, the braid, that when I'm braiding the growth out here into there, it starts from where the lock actually starts. And also, I almost forgot, I have some loose hair within my actual locks again hair that grows outside of the lock so what i'll do is loose hairs i will just wrap it around the lock as it's damp okay my fourth point is i protect my locks every time i'm at the gym lounging around at home or when i'm going to bed with a satin or silk headscarf i feel like this is kind of self-explanatory but obviously if you're trying to avoid like dust and lint from getting into your hair I think when you have locks it's kind of inevitable but in order for you to reduce that you've got to make sure that you're protecting your hair so as somebody that regularly works out I re like I work out probably about three times nowadays at the gym there's stuff on the mats that I'm using there's nonsense flying around in the air yard yard so I do tend to wear like a silk scarf and then obviously the ends of my locks would still be showing but again when I'm lounging around in my house in my bed all of that I've got my silk satin bonnet I don't play around with those things because not only is it protecting your hair from like dust and lint and stuff like that but I find it's also a great way to lock in moisture if you're somebody that like myself going into the fifth point um, where I make sure that my hair is moisturized making sure that your locks are covered helps to like sealing up moisture as well um, and in regards to locks being moisturised, I use Plant Maids Drizzle. I have spoken about these products many of times, so I'm going to lick videos around here. Approximately, I like spritz my hair about, I'll say three times a week now. 
um, in order to have it moisturized. And when it comes to oil, I know that oil doesn't moisturize hair and oil seals in moisture and all of that. But interestingly enough, I no longer use oil often. Approximately I use it about once a week and I have found that that works best for my hair. I know that there are some people that have completely just stopped using oil altogether and that works well for them. I found that it didn't work well for me when I tried it. I think it was last year, but once a week does what it needs to do for myself. So yeah, that comes to the end of this video. Don't listen to what people say when they say that semi-free filming requires no maintenance because it does. Uh, in regards to the whole braiding and wrapping loose hairs around my lock, I actually do that once a month. So I, I, do, I wash my hair approximately twice a month and I will quote unquote maintain it with the braids and the wrapping loose hair around my lock at least once a month. And I tend to do it on like the second wash. So where I recently, well, as I'm filming this, where I recently did the braiding and all of that last weekend, uh, when on my next wash, which is coming up next week, I wouldn't do any braiding and stuff like that. I would still just gently see if any of my locks are joined together and gently separate them, but I wouldn't do any braiding until the next wash after. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what your thoughts are in regards to semi-free forming. Are you semi-free forming? Um, how are you, quote unquote, maintaining your locks? What works best for you? I'm always interested to hear in things that work well for people's locks, especially when it's like very different to mine. There are some people that kind of drop comments and they're like, no, I wash my locks every three to four days. And I'm like, oh, wow, I hear it. If that works well for you, that's amazing. So yeah, let's get to gist in. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until my next one, take care, be good.